Alright! I can prove to you I've had way too much caffeine today. Alright, I had a request for this, and this is Slitaz for Release Candidate 1. And this one reminds me of something, one of those weird little tunes you heard on the Wolfman Jack oldie show from many years ago. It was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny super quick Linux distro beanie that's reviewed on Spatries today. Ugh, I never said I could sing. Oh, right, let's begin. 23rd February 2012, the Slitaz contributor team is pleased to announce the immediate availability of the first release candidate for Slitaz 4.0. Slitaz can boot in 10 to 12 seconds on fairly new hardware. And with the new 4-in-1 ISO, you can install a full Slitaz desktop with only 48 megs of RAM. The 4-in-1 ISO is able to auto-detect the memory it can boot Slitaz in text mode to a minimal X environment or a full graphical desktop. Let me tell you folks, this was only 38 megs. Wow! And let me show you what you get with this. All right. You get this really nice looking minimal LXDE desktop. And um, obviously, you have your notifications and everything right here. Okay, you have two desktops on this. And you get this applications menu, and you get some stuff with it. I can't believe how much they're able to actually cram into 48 megs. Let's look at this, shall we? Okay, in development, you get Beaver Code Editor, Bitbucket Repositories, CGI Shell Environment, Dialog Example, Icon Browser, LUA Interpreter, and Vi Text Editor. A lot of people like that one. I still use Nano. Okay, in documentation, you get Burnbox Manual, Cook Utils Documentation. GNU general public licenses in here, system doc, Talizo manual, and TAS package manual for that as well. In games, you get chess and Sudoku. Good thinking man's games, mind you. In graphics, you get G Color 2 Color Selector, Grab Screenshot, View Noir Elegant Image Viewer and MT Paint Image Editor. All lightweight stuff here. In internet, you get Lost IRC, Midori Web Browser, very lightweight, and a private browsing session for Midori. For all of you doing hmm on the internet, huh? Okay, and then you get Reta WQ Web Browser, SSH Box Secure Shell, SCP Box Secure Copy, Taz Web Browser, and then Twitter microblogging. In multimedia, you get Awesome Mixer Volume Mixer, Also Player Audio Player, Asunder CD Ripper, Audio Editor MH Wave Edit. In Office, you get SQ Light SQL Engine, Wiki Documents, Wikipedia Encyclopedia, obviously a link, Soho Document Viewer, and EPDF View. And then, of course, you get your standard complement of preferences for the LXDE user interface, and then your standard system tools, a boot, a CD-ROM creation tool, configuration of networking, create a live CD, gparted partition editor, HTTP web server, hardware detection and drivers, manage servers, mount devices, PC man file manager, Probably the best lightweight file manager that you'll ever find out there. Arguably, some people will say Thunar is better, but I think they both uh, possess equal qualities. Okay, and then the uh, show boot log, Slitez panel, system information, task manager, 
TAS USB live USB tool and wireless network connections. Now for a first release candidate this actually looks really nice. It is lightweight, it has a small footprint, wonderful for older, older hardware if you just have a need for speed. Alright and I'd like to thank M. Collar for suggesting this review. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send another video to my channel. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Please send a private message to me if you have any questions or comments. I'll try my best to answer any of your questions, and if I don't know the answer, I'll at least try to point you in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.